Paying the course, ways traders keep it together when the stock market falls apart. In today's cover story, Seeing Green, the lawn care business rakes it in as the housing market recovers. Storm protection, New York's Mayor Bloomberg's $20 billion fight against climate change, plus the role reversal at the box office. Will a summer blockbuster falter as an indie film gains fans? And Martha Stewart reveals her fountain of youth. First business starts now. You're watching First Business, financial news, analysis, and today's investment ideas. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, June 13th. I'm Angela Miles. In today's first look, BP reports the U.S. tops the world in growth in the production of oil and natural gas. The number of people refinancing their homes bounced up 5%, even as mortgage rates on the 30-year fix rose to 4.15. H&R Block missed on earnings, sending shares lower after is now up for debate in the Senate, and a new study finds that many supporters of the bill have outspent opponents when it comes to out that compares car repair costs, continuing unemployment claims, export and import prices. The lawn and garden business is growing, thanks in a large part to the rebound in the housing market. In today's cover story, a sneak peek into what your lawn and garden center may be stocking to bring in more green. Among sprinklers that look like flowers, insect zappers that use light and carbon dioxide to attract their prey, and a handy outdoor shelf, the National Lawn and Garden Show is where vendors get 10 minutes to make their pitch to buyers from 90% of gardening catalogs and retailers. It's a big deal because they can physically get face time with the buyer, which is very difficult to get at traditional trade shows. There's Jackson Madnick pushing his low-maintenance grass on a cart. Stays green all year on one-fourth the water. We grew close to 10,000 samples of this, varying proportions ever, ever so slightly, until we found one batch that interacted, that slowed down the growth and forced it to grow 12 to 14 inch roots. So what do you call this miracle grass? It's called Pearl's Premium. I named it after my mother, who was an environmentalist during the 50s, and my 12-year-old daughter. We saw Jimmy Elder, an entrepreneur from Dallas, whose pop-up yard art called Garden Gawkers comes in variations for every holiday. Right now we're investing, but we're investing wisely. We expect to turn a profit in the next uh, 12 to 24 months. And while Michelle Miller, a buyer, pondered a rainbow assortment of nozzles, we realized this is the buyer-vendor equivalent of speed dating. They match you up with vendors that, um, that make sense and are relevant for you, and you have very short conversations, 10 minutes. It is a lot like speed dating. It's completely different than a normal trade show. Business is better since the recession. Rebounded housing helps lawn and garden sales. 